Hey, how do you do out there, everyone? My name is Michael, and welcome to another installment of the Sketch Series here on the Doot Corner, where I do the doodles for practice and fun. Today is at long last more of a sketch, and that's really only because I didn't finish the piece as clearly as I should have. So I count it as a sketch, because I sure as heck ain't finishing it, and I don't really have a half-done category on this channel. But without further ado of my ranting, let's talk about the drawing. So this is, as I said last week, another school assignment. I was working in Photoshop today because one of the requirements of this assignment was to have it done in Photoshop, and I don't know how to use Photoshop very well, so that's another reason that it's not too done. This was also rather hastily constructed in about two hours on the dot, which proves something rather interesting to me actually, that I can work really fast if I try. Not that the work came out really good. But it actually isn't half bad. This assignment was to make a drawing of an anthropomorphic character with a thematic background. And even though this class is called Visual Design, I had to not convey visually the elements in this piece, but literally had to find a way to write it in. The title, the name of the character, and the time period that it took place in. And thus, Fia the Wild Girl was made to read a letter even though I'm unsure if she can actually read. I think the answer to that is probably no, but I threw asunder my lore to make this piece in a strangely put way that the teacher wanted. And so I made a piece about a mysterious stranger. Very cliche, but you know, it works. And Fia is here looking back kind of surprised like someone just sort of interrupted her uh, while she was reading the letter. Despite all this, I still tried to give you all the best shot I could at making something nice to watch which I hope it is in the end. But for now, I shall disappear, as I often do in the middle of my videos, so you can watch my fumbles with Photoshop and the many mistakes I make.
So, as we come to the setting sun of this episode, do tell me. What do you think about this design? Does it convey what it's meant to? Does it tell a story well enough? Did you enjoy watching? And why can't I package the damned file? What did I do wrong to deserve this Photoshop? I really, I really don't know. I, I tried everything I could. I looked it up. I, I did some research. I couldn't figure out how to package the file properly. It just wouldn't package. I know Photoshop isn't necessarily known for its ability to package. That's more InDesign and Illustrator, but I mean, I really thought Photoshop would let me package this, and it's something to do with links, but I don't understand because I don't even have links in the file. So, you know, that's whatever, Photoshop. I'll get all but the enjoyment factor from the teacher, so I want to hear your thoughts too. So let me know in the comments. And if you did enjoy, don't forget all that like and subscribe stuff. And let me know, too, if you have anything you want to see me draw in the future that I could consider. I hope you all enjoyed, and until next time, have a good day, and farewell.